hi what is up youtube thanks for tuning in today i'm going to show you how to build a diy battery pack i got these batteries from used battery pack then i recycled them tested them as you can see the capacity is marked on the cells so i'm going to go on the website and uh, enter these capacities so it can tell me exactly how to arrange the cells all right so this is the website this is the pack builder website or repacker.com now we're gonna go ahead and put the cells in here and we will separate them with uh, a comma alright so I have all 20 cells entered into the website so I'm gonna go ahead and hit add cells and then I'm gonna enter the information of the battery pack I'm trying to build number of cells in series it's gonna be 10 cells in series since I wanna make a 10 as 2p and then the number of cells in parallel is gonna be 2 and then nominal cell voltage 3.7 now you're gonna go ahead and hit generate pack and it's gonna load and as you can see it's, it already arranged the cells by pack as you can see you have the nominal voltage on top the amp power so this is going to be the battery pack amp power which is 3.6 and then you have the watt hour to the right 133 and also you have the capacities right here which cells to put together in a parallel group and if you see the total capacity of each parallel they're not too far from each other so let's go ahead and uh, put the cells together all right so the batteries are kind of beat up so i'm gonna go ahead and rewrap them i have the cap protection right here i have more if that's not enough and then i have the shrink tubes what i do is i just mark the battery capacity on the the shrink tubing and then I use a blade to cut on the side like this and then I have a bare battery so I use the cap insulation tape So I had soldered these cells before so I'm gonna have to grind this off before I weld them and then I use the shrink tube and I put it in like this same thing for all of them that's done now I'm gonna go ahead and shrink them So next step I'm gonna grind the solder off next step is to go ahead and glue them together The cells are glued and now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, uh, put them together and then I can start the welding process glue the cells like this so I have one of the packs glued as you can see uh, negative positive negative positive negative so I'm gonna do the same thing with the other five sets of parallel. So this is a 5s2p and this is a 5s2p and now I'm gonna combine them to have a 10s2p. So now you're gonna go ahead and uh, put it this way. So you're gonna put it like this. All 
and now you're gonna go ahead and uh, start the welding so I'm gonna use this for the loops make sure it is pure nickel otherwise it's gonna rust over time I'm using the K weld for the spot welder cut this for the loop You can also add some magnets to help hold it. Great. has to be in this layout so you're just gonna have to turn it around like this if you did it right you just have to connect vertically these five uh, connections and you'll be fine if it is different you might cause a short so make sure to check the connections before you do that And now you can just go ahead and unfold it like this. newly fully charged battery pack and then I can go ahead and add my BMS and that will be it our next step is to wire the BMS then from the battery you're gonna go ahead and label the batteries so you're gonna label it from the negative end of the pack right here so this is the negative so that's gonna be cell number one the next one is gonna be cell number two then the next one, number three, then four, 
then five, then six, seven, eight, nine, and then ten. Like this. You have 11 wires, so the first one is black, so the black one is going to go to the negative of the first cell, and then the next red wire is going to go to the positive of the same cell, and then each following red wire is going to go to the positive of the next cell. So let's go ahead and wire it up. balance cables are soldered then I'm gonna put this insulation box right here all right now I'm gonna tape it I recommend using this tape this is captain tape it is heat resistant Then the PMS goes right here. It's just gonna be like this. And then if you look at the PMS closely, you can see a terminal C minus, a P minus, and a B minus. So the B minus goes to the negative of the whole battery pack. That's gonna be right here. So I'm gonna run a wire from the B minus to the negative of the pack. But first, more tape. And it is connected to the battery minus right here. Alright, so next step is to add the charger connector. The positive of it is going to the positive of the whole battery. And then the negative is going to C minus on the BMS. Now the positive goes to the positive of the battery. Right here, and then the negative of the power connector goes to P minus if you want to use the BMS for discharge or directly to the negative of the battery pack if you want to use the battery directly and use the BMS only for charging. That's what I'm gonna do. All right, so this is good. This goes to the charging port and this goes to the your motor, your ESC, whatever you're trying to use the battery to power. Add some blue tape to the sides.
all right so here you have a tennis 2p battery pack ready to be used if you like this project make sure to drop the like subscribe and stay tuned for upcoming videos thank you for watching and see you on my next video